Good afternoon. Philip Stevens with the Baptist Church of Driftwood. Due to recent restrictions caused by the coronavirus, we won't be having traditional services at our church for the next couple of weeks. Out of an abundance of caution and in obedience to the governmental authorities in our lives, we will be observing what has come to be known as social distancing. And I do believe that it is the appropriate and the prudent thing for us to do at this time. We wouldn't want to cause anyone harm or have anyone get sick simply because we fail to recognize the physical impact that we can have on others as well as the physical impact that they can have on us. When you think about it, social distancing makes pretty good sense. The Bible talks about social distancing as well. Certainly not from the physical aspect so much, but rather from the spiritual aspect. The Apostle Paul reminded the church of that in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. Paul writes to the church, Do not be deceived. Bad company corrupts good morals. There is an impact and an influence that we have on those people who are around us. And there is an impact and an influence that they have as well on us. Certainly not just in the physical sense, but also in a spiritual, a moral, and emotional sense. It is true. Bad company does corrupt good morals. In this time of social distancing, I would recommend that we spend some of our time reflecting on the overall impact that we have on others and that we also reflect on what is the overall impact that those relationships have on us. Maybe we need to put a little more distance between ourselves and, and those people who impact us negatively. Maybe we need to draw a little bit closer to those who impact us positively. And certainly I, I don't mean that we would uh, draw closer in the physical sense, but that we would reach out in other ways. That's a great opportunity for us to call somebody, let them know how much we appreciate them. It's a great time for us to write letters or send postcards or find some other way to send words of encouragement to those people we love and care for and who have loved and cared for us. It is important who we hang out with. It is important who we interact with. It can have a good or a bad influence on our life. And there's my dogs barking again. <laughs> they practice social distancing, but they don't practice social manners. You know, my overall prayer for you is that you would be safe, that you would know that you are loved, and that you would use this time of social distancing to draw closer to the Lord, and that you would allow Him to impact someone in a positive way through you. Until next time, stay strong in the faith, and... I need to go because I've got to feed the dogs.